the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 338, Romans 12 to 14, Living Sacrifice and Spiritual Worship. Christians who have received new life should live in the light and give themselves to God as holy living sacrifices to please God. First point, Paul taught about the Christian way of worship and service through the story of the offering in the kingdom of priests. Paul taught that offering oneself as a holy offering to God was a spiritual worship that God wanted. Paul furthermore advised them to live for God's will and joy. Paul, who was well versed in the laws, knew clearly that the offering to God had strict rules in terms of how it was done and what was offered. Thus, it was important to firstly understand what the preparations for the offering were in order to realize the value of worship that Jesus taught us. Paul, moreover, taught that through Jesus Christ, they were all one body. Therefore, it was their task to carry out each of their roles. Second point. Paul taught them to heap burning coals on their enemies' head. Paul taught the Roman church that revenge was God's territory and that Christians were to defeat evil with good. Paul taught them not to repay evil with evil, but with good. By doing so, the enemy will change their heart and have regret and shame later on. Paul here referred to the words in Ecclesiastes. Third point, Paul taught that God managed the world by using empires, such as Assyria, Babylon, Persia, Hellas, and Rome. Paul taught the Roman church about how God managed the world. Paul moreover taught them not to fear the world, but to carry out good deeds. Paul added that they were to offer tax to the world, and this was in line with Jesus' teaching. The reason Paul taught them to live well in the world and pay tax was because God ultimately governed the world. Since through history, God governed the whole world using various empires as his tool. First, God used the Assyrian Empire as his tool to strike those Israel. Second, God used Babylon and Nebuchadnezzar to strike down South Judah. Third, God used the Persian Empire and Cyrus in order to implement his policy of 70 years of captivity. Fourth, God sent Jesus down to earth and used the Roman Empire's policy of the cross to fulfill his world management. Fourth point, Paul taught that the completion of the laws was love. Paul taught the Roman church about the attitude they were to have toward their neighbors. Paul stressed that the fulfillment of the laws was love. Paul added for the church members to each prepare for their own end. All they were to focus on was Jesus Christ and living as Christians. Fifth point. Paul taught that a Christian was to become God's joy and should strive to be received well by their neighbors. Paul taught the Roman church to benefit from peace. First, the church was not to criticize or rebuke one another. Second, they were not to worry one another. Third, they were to understand that the kingdom of God had righteousness and peace. Thus, Paul taught them to find peace and virtue in daily life. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, 
ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.